Well, I'm most interested in making documentaries about people, first and foremost. And when they see the world in a way that I haven't yet, or they come from a place that I've never experienced, all the better. Hi, I'm Brad Barber, creator of States of America. I was born in Walnut Creek, California, and I was raised outside of Knoxville, Tennessee, and now I live in Provo, Utah. Uh, I've actually lived almost exactly one third of my life in each of these three places, and I really feel like I'm equal parts Californian, Tennessean, and Utahan, and you can't imagine three more distinct states from each other. And that's actually part of what kind of set me down this path to understanding what connects us to the states where we live and how they mark us. West Virginia, it's an essential part of my identity. My whole sense of self comes from here. You know, I think I've always been a, a curious person and a pretty good listener. I'm a big believer in um, going outside of your comfort zone. Just let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. States of America is a series of documentary shorts featuring one person in each of the 50 United States as they explore ideas of belonging and connection to place. We've been working on this since 2009, so we're coming up on 11 years, and we're a little over halfway done. Not just visiting a place, but visiting a place and talking to someone from there about what it's like to live there, what it's really like in that state, is a really special experience. The way in which the landscape plays its part in our lives is really important, and our elders even say that it brings life, that you feel more alive in a certain area. There's a subjectiveness to each of the films. They're all personal. They're based on an experience I had with one person in one state. They're not really meant to reflect everything about that state. It's just a, a sample. Some of the people that I interviewed have had really positive experiences about the place they live. But I felt like it was important to make sure we include people that have had difficult and negative experiences with how they've been treated where they live. The world constantly is reminding me I'm black. When I go for walks, I'm walking by, someone's in the car, click, lock the car. I'm a tall black man. What else could it be? That's the weird part of living in Omaha. Increasingly, I think it's impossible to not think about the experience of discrimination, racism, if you're looking at the, our national fabric. It's just part of it. And it's one that's so important, it needs to be addressed honestly. And as a white person in particular, I'm, I'm very aware of my lived experience being very different than many of the subjects that I interview for this project. While States of America started as this kind of high concept experiment, you know, one film about one person in every state, I think the simple act of just learning about how a person feels like they belong to the place where they live has become more profound in the light of the kind of hyper divisiveness our country finds itself in. I don't see any different each other. I feel like I, I, I fit in somehow. I've staked out my territory here. I make myself welcome. This is my home. 